Hello everyone, this is Ashish and today we are going to discuss how you can balance all three examinations GATE, ISRO and Engineering Services because I know that this is the question that is spinning around in a lot of you guys' head because GATE examination is a safe examination ISRO examination gives only one job and Engineering Services examination gives only one job but Engineering Services examination helps you to perform better in ISRO examination. Now ISRO job happens to be a dream job. GATE examination gives you multiple PSU opportunities and higher studies. So obviously you guys might be thinking that yes I should be preparing for all these three examinations. Yes obviously there's one more examination BARC but BARC preparation you can definitely continue after your GATE examination because it is going to be somewhere around March. But these three examinations are clustered and preparing and appearing for all three examinations will definitely help other two examinations that I know by experience. Now, in this one, we are going to go in a very systematic manner. Number one, we are going to find out what are the similarities between, let us say, ISRO and GATE examination and ISRO and engineering services examination. Then we are going to find out the differences between these examinations. And only then I'm going to tell you guys what your strategy should be, how you should be studying to tackle all three examinations properly. So the first thing that you have to do is find out about the examination the pattern of the examination the syllabus of the examination and then with a calm mind we are going to think what is going to be the strategy of our preparation for all three examinations simultaneously okay let us first find out what is the pattern of these three examination gate examination a lot of you guys might be knowing 65 questions three hours that is 180 minutes ISRO examination 80 questions 90 minutes engineering services examination 150 question 180 minutes at least for the technical part I'm talking about now this is the pattern of the examination you might be finding out that okay ISRO examination and engineering services examination is similar when it comes to the time yes not only that those two examination both are offline that means you'll be have to you'll be needing to fill those OMR sheets both are not allowing calculator and that is why I'm saying appearing for engineering services will definitely help you for ISRO examination of people who are from computer science or other streams who are eligible for ISRO but engineering services is not there or maybe you are not willing to appear for engineering services for mechanical engineers and civil engineers definitely should be appearing for engineering services and I believe that electrical and electronics people also should be but I'll be making separate videos on computer science ISRO and electronics ISRO coming up soon but this video will also give you a few clues because you still have to manage gate and your ISRO examination now this is the pattern of these three examination now coming to the syllabus gate examination will be having the so smallest syllabus it is the subset of both ISRO syllabus and uh, engineering services syllabus engineering services will be having the biggest amount of syllabus because it is gate syllabus plus engineering services some technical part will be there and there will be general studies ISRO examination is a little bit having smaller syllabus than uh, engineering services it is having gate syllabus plus some ISRO specific technical part very small minus aptitude minus uh, this uh, English so you understand the syllabus it is similar but not same that is why three different examination uh, multiple different jobs okay now you understand what the pattern is you understand what the syllabus is now you might be getting an idea okay there's a reason why Ashish is telling to prepare for all these three examination and appear for them because it is going to help other examinations your target might be just one maybe you're just aiming for ISRO examination but just sitting and preparing for other examinations will help you for that one examination let us say that you are preparing for ISRO examination now ISRO examination is a combination of gate examination and engineering services examination not only in the way of syllabus but also in a way of type of questions asked because engineering services will be asking a lot of short questions in which you will have to have very fast numerical solving ability also gate will be asking conceptual questions and ISRO will be asking both of those types of questions so definitely it is going to help now now these were the pattern and the syllabus now let us come to what are the similarities so let us say engineering services examination and ISRO examination 
what are the similarities number one is obviously calculator is not allowed in both of them now around 50 to 60 percent of questions in isro examination will be very short question like one marks question of gate examination very short question like you already know the formula you have to just apply and you just have to get the answer those kind of questions you need speed and that kind of question is going to be present in isro examination majority part of engineering services examination you get the point these are the similarities between these examination obviously that one question one marks and one minute you have to solve one question in one minute this is why because see 80 questions 90 minutes no but there, there is uh, some time given for you to fill the OMR sheet that is also going to take some time for you to fill the bubbles and that is going to be common in both ISRO examination and engineering services examination. So ultimately it comes down somewhere around just one question and one minute and that is the speed that you have to develop for both of these examinations. So those are few of the similarities between ISRO examination and engineering services examination. Let us come to ISRO examination and gate examination. Now 40% of the question around 40 or 30% of the question depending on the difficulty that year will be similar to gate question. ISRO does ask a lot of conceptual questions and those questions will not be like it, one minute will not be sufficient to solve those kind of conceptual questions of ISRO examination but it will be taking somewhere around three to four minutes but you'll be compensating it by spending less time in other short questions all right so isro examination all three types of questions are asked conceptual fast numerical questions and memory based questions other than uh, uh, something more about memory based question i'm going to talk about in the end of this video so there's basically only one similarity between ISRO examination and gate examination that some strong conceptual questions are going to be asked and they are going to be very similar to the questions asked in gate examination. Let us talk about the difference between ISRO examination and gate examination. Now the difference basically comes in syllabus. Now ISRO is focusing on certain subjects. The core subjects ISRO is going to focus more upon them. But gate, you'll have to be ready for all the subjects because you are seeing the marks that is that people are in the toppers are scoring in gate examination. You cannot leave any subject. But when it comes to ISRO, you can leave few subjects. How will you understand which subjects to leave? You will go through the previous year questions and you will find a pattern that few subjects are just questions are just not coming from them. Few subjects, very less questions are coming and few subjects around four or five subjects around like 50 to 60 percent of the questions are going to come from that. And a lot of times ISRO in ISRO examination to cross the cutoff of the written test, you will have to score only 50 to 60 percent of marks. Obviously, there are examples in which it has varied. Actually, ISRO cutoff fluctuates a lot but yes depend sometimes that is sufficient so yes you'll be having to solve a lot of questions for example sometimes in isro examination the way it was in 2018 isro examination you'll be having to solve somewhere around 75 questions out of 80 questions which is like almost 100 percent of the questions but in that part in that case also you will not need to be ready with all the subjects that you will understand by analyzing previous year questions that certain like six to seven subjects become very very important and obviously i have said that uh, general aptitude and english will be removed from isro examination so that's the difference between isro examination and gate examination other than obviously that in isro examination you'll be needing a lot more speed in gate examination you'll be getting a little bit more time per question but yes, for people who have already appeared for gate examination already know that over there also there's a problem of shortage of time. Okay, now let us talk about what are the differences of engineering services examination and ISRO examination. Now, number one difference will be engineering services will be focusing sometimes more on some of the mug up questions. Okay, the percentage of questions that are to be remembered in engineering services is a little bit higher than ISRO examination right other than that again coming to the syllabus syllabus is obviously in engineering services you'll have to be preparing for power plant engineering i'm talking about mechanical engineering power plant engineering you'll have to focus a lot on rse also like you have to solve questions from rse okay i'm talking about the b002 that is mechanical post in that rse is not that important power plant is not that important but you cannot leave these subjects for engineering services examination so the syllabus is basically different 
but these are the minor differences the majority of the syllabus is common for all three examinations and now coming to the strategy of what you need to know the most that what do i need to do right now right now you have to finish the first and the smallest syllabus what is that gate examination syllabus finish it completely because that is the subset of both of these examination and once you are done with that you'll be getting more confidence number two that gate syllabus and if you're serious about engineering services then engineering services syllabus two should be over by the end of november after that you need a lot of practices especially get, uh, not gate isro examination and engineering services examination is highly dependent on your practice you need speed you need accuracy and for developing that you need time and more and more practice and that is why i'm saying give full december and the part of january that you have 100 percent on practice you need more than that but less than that you cannot give so our target right now till november end i have to finish gate syllabus and engineering services if engineering services is my target i have to finish that syllabus first now focusing more on isro examination from december because i know that in one month you can focus in isro examination what are you going to do practice as much as possible if you are a mechanical engineer whatever previous year question you get from engineering services from administrative services from isro previous year question psu previous year question you get as many questions as possible and solve as much as possible for other streams too whatever previous year question you can get from similar type of examination you solve them all throughout the december and most importantly solve all the isro previous year question not just once at least three or four times you have to solve isro previous year questions why because here's the thing some of the isro previous year questions are definitely going to be repeated at least two or three you are going to see that they are repeated and they were present in previous year questions and the answers are over there and same same question is repeated now what is the benefit of that now i'm not promoting something like mugging up questions but if one question you have already seen before and you are able to answer it in fraction of second and you're getting plus three marks why will you not take that advantage in this tremendous competition that we have so previous year question is very important number one reason you get a feel of type of questions asked in these examinations like isro examination what is the kind of question asked you will understand whatever i'm trying to tell right now that what is the pattern of the examination what is the syllabus what subjects are more important that is what you're going to find out by solving previous year questions again and again also you are going to get some of the questions which are repeating some of the mug up questions which are repeating you'll find that pattern of what kind of questions are getting repeated you'll find that for example in mechanical engineering compressible flow becomes important which is not important in engineering services not important in gate examination but in isro it becomes important so to find the pattern i can tell you whatever i have understood by appearing in isro examination three times but the maximum you're going to understand only by going through the previous year questions yourself at least three to four times you have to do it and according to that make a feedback mechanism you go through the previous year questions whatever is your weakness work on that then again go through the next year previous year question work on that and the cycle continues and you become better and better and that is the kind of practice you are going to need in december another thing gate test series you have to give in december because like i said in isro examination a lot of questions which are conceptual are going to come and that is like gate examination questions so gate giving gate uh, test series is definitely going to help i also did the same so definitely do that engineering services test series if your target is engineering services then definitely get a test series for engineering services too if it is not it is not necessary okay because giving too many test series will not be helpful because there are sometimes isro test series also available from one or two test series and i'm going to talk about that later on because you are going to buy that in december but right now what is my target to finish gate syllabus focus on that do not look here and there preparing for gate examination is very important it open it opens multiple opportunity and not only that preparing for gate examination is going to help you for isro examination just like preparing for engineering services technical part is going to help you for isro examination so all plays hand in hand keep that in mind and according to that you have to devise your strategy right now pick up a pen 
pick up a paper and start making a plan right now how it is going to play out it is very important i shared my knowledge based on my experience of what are the similarities in these three examinations what are the differences what is the pattern what is the syllabus but at the end of the day you have to do the work you have to do the analysis and then you have to do the planning and above all you have to do the execution all right so that's about it for this video i'm sure that i might have missed some of the questions that you are having in your mind comment it down below and i'll definitely answer it over there and i'm going to end this video over here my second youtube channel is on personality development so if you want to improve your spoken english your personality definitely check those videos out because it is very important for you to have a very good personality in an interview which you know is going to be in between you and you getting a job all right so that's about it i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye